So I, I think our training is special because we're gonna bring people that have vast quantities of experience into the classroom to teach. Uh, myself, I've been doing this for 30 years. I'm one of the primary trainers. Uh, one of our other primary trainers, he's been doing this for more than 20 years. And we're bringing that kind of expertise back into the classroom. People that are still actively working in ultrasound, doing this on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't just teach for a living. And so we're able to constantly bring that experience back to the classroom. And, uh, and I think that's one of the big advantages of Probo. Not to mention we have a fleet of ultrasound systems. So when you come to our training, even if it's basic training and you're there for one specific system, but you're like, hey, I have this other system in my hospital. Could we bring that in for the afternoon? If we have it in our inventory that day, yeah, we just go get it and pull it in. And you're able to you know, get your hands on that equipment as well. So training at Probo Medical is really designed to take people that know a little bit about ultrasound through basic and knowing a lot more about ultrasound. Or if you know a fair bit about ultrasound, maybe you just need some system stuff. We're gonna teach you that. Not only that, we're gonna come to this from the viewpoint of somebody that doesn't have the tools that a manufacturer is gonna give to them. We're gonna teach you as an ISO would teach you, where you're going in without passwords and those kinds of things, where you're not locked into needing those tools, you learn how to fix the equipment uh, to the best of your ability without having those extra tools. So our philosophy really is to teach you about the equipment and about the modality of ultrasound. Uh, I think there's a big misnomer that we're going to teach you our experience and we, we can relay our experience, but the, the goal is, is to teach you about the units and the modality of ultrasound so you can build experience faster yourself than you would have been able to by not coming to training. We really focus on the modality. We focus on the relationship with the sonographers that you may have to interact with. Um, and we build from there. We spend a lot of time talking about transducers and not only transducers, but what makes them fail and how to spot those failures and how to speak to the end users about those failures and educate them. Um, so those are the types of things that we teach, as well as continuing on into phantom imaging, how to do a PM, those types of things continue on through the basic ultrasound class. So then we dive into system classes. So depending on whatever system class that basic class was tied with that week, whether it be Epic, uh, the GE Logic E10, or um, Voluson, um, we're really starting at the beginning with those systems. We're going through, you know, uh, things as simple as serial number identification, option identification, all the way up to part number identification, theory on how the system works. Of course, full disassembly. Um, of these systems and all of our systems have all of their covers on them and things like that so you're never missing out on wow wow I didn't see that in training um, you know you're fully taking the machine apart usually during our average training class we end up taking the machines apart back together several times just because um, that's just how it works these days and uh, and it gives you a very robust uh, look at the unit uh, including uh, generally software loading as well, or if it's difficult for you to load software because you don't have some of those manufacturer tools, in some cases, most cases, we have tools to teach you how to get around that. Uh, primarily our training classes are held in our Tampa uh, facility and we have a training room and a, plenty of room and we of course have all the systems there and so we have plenty of access to inventory that kind of thing and Tampa's not a bad place to come and visit so especially during those cold winter months for everybody uh, that's in the northern states especially um, and so that's one location uh, also we do uh, go, come to you we will teach remotely So we really have kind of two sets of people that attend our classes. We have uh, those folks that are already in imaging and but maybe they've done CT, MRI, X-ray, but they've never done ultrasound. And so, um, you know, they, they understand imaging techniques and they understand that, but ultrasound is its own unique thing. Uh, it's, kind of a, it's kind of an offset in imaging away from a lot of other, the might be referred to as big iron type of imaging devices. And uh, so generally in most cases, if they've not been through a basic ultrasound, they're gonna go through basic ultrasound just to get that baseline and then a system class as well. 
Um, on the other hand, sometimes we have biomeds that are coming up and ultrasound is their first foray into anything imaging. Um, you know, and they're gonna take the exact same pathway. So unless you already have some experience in ultrasound, we really recommend basic is the place to start. You only need to do it once. Um, and if you don't do it, we don't require it. Um, we just think you're missing out for very little dollars in learning a lot more about the modality. So a good reason to attend uh, some of our classes is really A, to expand your knowledge base first. Uh, B, uh, without a doubt, you're gonna be able to help save your facility money. Uh, our basic ultrasound class is very affordable. It costs about the same as having us do one preventive maintenance per year.